I'm Jesse Kinzer. Uh, I am a security researcher slash hacker. Uh, I have a full-time job as the director of product security at Lifeomic. So I spend my days actually running a bug bounty program through HackerOne. And then nights and weekends, I spent hacking against other companies. My hacking skills go back to uh, college. So I started doing a lot of independent research during college, writing papers on digital forensics, mobile security. And that's kind of really when I started getting like hands on the keyboard hacking. Um, and then I took my first job. I spent five years working for the US intelligence community, uh, doing a lot of really cool cyber projects. And then I rolled over into private industry. And then that's when I started working with uh, HackerOne. I helped Salesforce run their bug bounty program. Oh, I really like enjoy hacking for the challenge. Um, it's, it's a constant learning process. There's all these new technologies that are always being introduced and getting to go out and hack against different companies. You get to see what they're currently working on and then try to break it for them. I kind of work in these cycles when I, when I bug hunt. So I may not find anything for a while and then I'll find something really good. And the thrill of it just like completely re-energizes you. So it gets you excited, gets you going back out there and then I start this usual like binge session uh, to where I just go bug hunting and look for other vulnerabilities and similar targets. I would describe a hacker as somebody that's really inquisitive um, and that wants to learn how to break things apart and figure out how they work. To be a part of the hacker community really means that you're willing to give back. Um, it, the best part about being a hacker is that you don't know everything. You know a little piece of the puzzle. And then you take all these pieces, all these different hackers, and put them together and you figure out something really big. So it's really just kind of contributing back and trying to figure things out. Oh, yeah, so I, I bought a Tesla Model S with my bounty money. I put my down payment on my Tesla, and then I bought a hacked license plate for the Tesla, which was pretty amazing. Ooh, this is a tough one. Um, I'm a huge fan of the challenge coins. Um, I love the challenge coins that we get at each event so much that I actually went back and created challenge coins for my bug bounty program to give out to hackers. So I've got them ranked from you know critical to medium, and then I ship them challenge coins for each finding. So I'm a huge. I've got a huge set of challenge coins from all the different events that I like to collect. HackerOne has a ton of different awesome companies that they work directly with um, that have great scopes. And I like HackerOne because there's always these new programs rolling out. And if, you know, if a company has a new mobile app tomorrow, it usually hits HackerOne first and I, I get a chance to try to break it. So I'd like to thank my wife for always being cooperative and understanding that uh, I need to fly out to random locations to hack against different companies. And whenever I have to make crazy purchases, she doesn't even blink an eye. So thank you. Don't be intimidated. Um, if you're a new hacker, jump in, dive in head first, and try to just conquer problems in small chunks. So you, you don't need to completely come in and be an expert on day one. Break it into small chunks. And, and learn how to do small pieces and then string stuff together and you'll be an expert hacker within you know, a few, few months probably, as long as you're, you're willing to focus and, and try to conquer everything. Yeah.